So over here, you can see that I have imported out some media files right here, and some of them are audio as well. If I were to click on audio, then it filters out the audio as you can see right here. So let's say I want to go around and bring in this audio in the timeline. I can simply go around and click and drag it or press the plus button right here to add in the audio. You can see that I got two audio clips together, but let me just go around and delete this audio on the top by pressing the delete key. If I were to go around onto the beginning and press the play button, you hear out the audio. If I were to go around and click the audio, then you can see that audio is an option right here. And you can go around and work around with the volume of the audio. You can make the audio, uh, let's say, much more softer. You can decrease the volume of the audio and it gets lower in volume. You can go around onto fade right here and add in a fade in and fade out in the audio as well. So if I were to go around on the beginning and press the play button, you slowly has a have a fade in. I'm just going to go around and cut the audio right here and delete this uh, audio part right here. So I just got this section of the audio. Let me just go around and zoom in or you can fit into space right here. What you can do is add in a fade out to this as well. So if I were to go around over here and play the audio, that is what you have in the beginning and at the end, it slowly fades out in 1.5 seconds. And that is how you can go around and work around with fade in audio as well. You can also work around with the speed of the audio and change out the speed and you can see that the audio speed changes out. The uh, duration of the audio decreases as you increase the speed to 2x. So if I were to go around and play this, the audio is faster. And if I were to decrease this, the audio is slower. Let me just go around and keep this to one person over here itself. And then I'm going to go around and bring in, let's say, this video clip right here. And then you got a background audio over here for this one. So I'm just going to go around and fit this uh, video into place as well and press the play button. And you can see that that is the background audio right here for this video. You can also go around onto audio and bring in another audio together as well and keep it side by side. Uh, let me just go around and delete this and bring in another audio clip right here. And you can see that that is another audio clip. But I can go around and overlap it out right here so that they play side by side, by side as well. But it kind of gets noisy. So I'm just going to go around over here and then go to fade. And then let's say I'm going to go around and fade this in right here and keep it right around over here. And you can see that one audio fades in while the other fades out. I can go around and join them together around over here as well so that this is what you hear. So that is what you have as you can see right here. You don't currently have the option to uh, add in um, an audio transition directly, but you can go around and utilize the fade so that you can go around and overlap it. Just like this. And that is how you can go around and then add in audio clips in timeline and then work around with the audio options in timeline uh, for editing. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.